Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance, where today we're going to take Tainted and Forgotten, because it's very much just switching out between the same two characters until I get all the things that I want. And that's what we're doing today, hopefully. Uh, we got Eden's Blessing, so we started off with a blue map and dad's key, I guess, <laughs> because we did get two Eden's blessings in the previous run, I suppose, so I guess that does work out. I'm just gonna use uh, dad's key number one in this room, and I'll use it to get the super secret room as well, but that is actually very useful. I went into the room by accident. I didn't think I could throw quite so incredibly, but apparently so. We are at this point really only looking for secret room items and birthright with this character, so it's it's very much just going to be switching in between either this character, Eden, and maybe an occasional Isaac run every now and then in between to get maybe a little bit more luck in that regard, but I'm, I don't know. I'm feeling like things are going to be okay. Uh, Book of Shadow is pretty good. I can just do like a mother run this time because there isn't really anything stopping me. I can go for angel rooms again, which is really nice, because we don't need to worry about mega blasts anymore. And uh, yeah, just a lot more chill, really. It was already pretty chill, but somehow the chillness has only increased. Now, unfortunately, we don't have bombs, we don't have money, and there is a restock machine in that shop, which I would like to take full advantage of, but if we can't afford it, we cannot afford it. Dead Cat could be interesting if we're going for Devil Deals, uh, as it stands. And me wanting to do an Angel Room run for the first time in a while. Probably not gonna bother. But we'll see. Let's just see what the rest of this floor has to offer. We did get a bomb, so we could... Bomb the shopkeeper in here? I think he has five coins, maybe. There we go. And now if we get Pageant Boy, <laughs> we might be able to use that restock machine a little bit, but quite frankly, this is uh, this is already starting to ask for a decent amount of things all at the same time. This boss, fortunately, not too tricky with this character. Because, uh, well, I can fly, and uh, the creep is really the main danger when it comes to this boss, so... Not really too concerned. Speed up's not too bad. I think that's realistically speaking everything we can do here. I guess, I mean, in case the like lost sequence goes a bit bad, I can at least do this. Uh, I can get the eternal heart there to at least get a little bit more of a health situation going on. But I don't think there's anything I particularly want from a devil deal at this stage, so... We're just gonna move on. Yeah, it's a shame about our coin situation, I really would have liked it. If, uh... We could have gotten all the cool stuff there, but oh well. I'm just gonna do this room first so we can use up these charges of our um, dad's key as much as possible. Really try to make that work. Because <laughs> I want to blow up this one, because anyone with coins in his eyes is usually kind of worthwhile. Uh, triple shot could be kind of interesting. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Because that is just, like, a, a bunch of bones. We are no longer swinging very quick, unfortunately, as you can see, but... It'll get the job done, for sure. Diplopia... I can see instances where Diplopia would be really useful. I don't know if I want to get rid of that key, though. I probably do. Is my current feeling about the situation? Um, but I don't know. I do like getting secret rooms in every single floor and not being reliant on bombs so much. But then Diplopia could get me, like... Uh, certain things in the shop, I guess. That would really be the main thing. If I would, if I wanted it for the Devil deal, I, I'd consider it more, I think. But as it stands, since I'm going for Angel Rooms anyway... I think a decent amount of health, at least. Uh, I don't know if I have a use for Diplopia, really. Except there's, there's just like a million coins here somewhere and I'd like to duplicate that, but that's really all I can think of right now. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I think I'm actually just gonna leave it alone. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, that almost would have been worthwhile, but yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Let's just go. Don't need it. Not necessary. Little blub. Yeah, this is a little awkward with triple shot because I can't. My attacking is very slow. <laughs> it is not a swift way of killing things, but with the extra damage, I mean, it is pretty much just throwing an insta kill at, at an enemy, so as long as it's not a boss, it is fairly effective. But there are also bosses in this game, as it turns out, which is a bit of a problem. That actually opened the boss challenge room as well, interestingly enough. Might as well check it. Sure. Let's see if uh, now that we have extra damage, things are easier. We did get the broken padlock, which does have some uses, arguably, if we didn't have Dad's key already. I mean, it's good for golden chests, I guess, if we get a large amount of those and get to a point where we don't have the keys to be able to open those anymore. Come on. There you go. One more. Really trying to preserve my swings because they don't, they're not very good. <laughs> they're not very good at all. They're very slow. I hope we get some tier 8 somewhere. 48 hour energy does have its uses. Maybe not this run, but it does have uses. Was perhaps hoping a little bit for a soul heart there, but that's fine. There is, uh, yeah, there's very little chance that we're going to need a key this floor. But you never know. Maybe uh, we'll come across so many golden chests. There is that one room layout where there's just a whole bunch of uh, golden chests just in a room. We got it the previous run, I think, so we might run across that. I don't know if it shows up in the draws, but it might. We don't know. I'm excited to find out personally. Not super exciting secret room so far. <laughs> Not super exciting shops either. I mean, now that we have some money, the shops have really toned down in interestingness, unfortunately. But we'll see. Ooh, shade. Very nice. It follows, you see. I... <laughs> I didn't wait for the bones to go through the door and therefore I took damage. Very, very strong way to play the game. I'll take this. I don't know what the other one is, but I can imagine... This one gives me cool eyes, and I think that alone pretty much makes it good enough to take, I would say. In terms of going to Mother, I mean... I don't have to do the boss fight twice, but I could. It's not a very big floor. Uh, I can't believe I didn't get hit there, but sure, I'll take it. And we do get occasional beams with the bone attacks as well. Main reason why I do the boss again is just to find more tier 8. I really don't understand how these tiers falling down work because I'm feeling like I'm doing things right now that I shouldn't be getting away with and I clearly am, so... Not sure why I'm taking so little damage from it all, but probably is a good reason somewhere out there. Might as well explore as much as we can over here to get a bunch of consumable. Little tempted to go... <laughs> of course. I definitely meant to turn into the lost then. Uh, definitely tempted by things and stuff. I definitely had a sentence there at some point, but it has disappeared from my body. Trying to kill this boss before he goes through the wall and ruins my day. But fortunately... What? He survived? Alright, well, you know... At least we got extra damage. Again, wouldn't would have been nice to get some tier 8, but that's fine. We'll stop being the lost now, so that's also good. We got some extra health ultimately as well, so it's not all terrible. But I'd like to see just something a little bit more interesting at this stage, I suppose. Uh, that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna do one of those. <laughs> oh my god. I did not expect him to get knocked into the wall like a baseball, but somehow life found a way. That's wonderful. <laughs> I love that. And we can use the dad's key once again to enter the caves as well. The run's going pretty quick, which I do appreciate because this is being recorded on the same day as that Eden debacle that we had the previous run. So life is a bit easier sometimes when it's less that. Because <laughs> it was it was quite a lot. It, it was a little bit more than I had bargained for at the time. 
And uh, I'm happy that we can just have a reasonably chill time this time around. Uh, that's pretty good. I still don't want a devil deal though. But you know, an, an interesting dad's key run. We don't get those very frequently. It would have been more dad's key if it went to Mega Satan, I suppose, but that's fine. Also, my bones are actually so slow at attacking right now that I can throw them, pick them up again, and throw them again, and the second time he doesn't swing the bones, it's just... It's, it's just throwing some bones at people, which is not as effective as you would expect. Because I have reasonably high expectations of throwing bones at someone. And instead, not so good. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. It's not like we have bombs anyway, so I might as well go with a trinket that actually does something. Even though it does give us the, the potential to go into the beast, if we really wanted to. But I don't really want to, if I'm being honest. It's a novelty that we can, but... Nah. A lot of red chests. And all of them terrible. I <laughs> mean, some spiders, I suppose. Not technically terrible, just not exciting. This video is going to be called as Tainted Forgotten has a really unexciting time. I'm a little tempted by Keeper's Box, though. Because I don't know if that can give me items. Or at least give me the option to buy items, really. But if it does, I'd like to at least try it. I'd like to at least try it. So that's what we're going to do. And we'll find out together. Because if this can get me to shop items, there's only like more chance that we can get... Um, the thing that I want. The birthright, after all, and that would be lovely. So, hopefully it works out. If it doesn't, it's fine, but ultimately only one way to find out. I assume, other than Googling it. Also, I didn't think that if the bones were still like a pile of mush that it would then still kill the other ones, because technically it's still alive, but that actually would have probably been a problem with this build had it not gone that way, so I guess I'm grateful for it, ultimately. <laughs> Should have killed the one in the middle first, but it worked out. Yeah, could, uh, that could have gone worse. <laughs> Definitely could have gone worse. I picked up the bomb, apparently, so I took it with me to the next room. I genuinely didn't know. So that is excellent. Very nice. Mm. Hey, tier 8. Yep, that's my tier 8. Look at that charge. I didn't even know there was such an animation with the white circle going into the middle circle and it showing how far the charge was. So ultimately we learned something by how terrible this <laughs> charge rate is. So that's nice. This, what is this button? Huh. Oh my god, enemies. I've not seen that layout before, that was exciting. Chest with a bunch of keys inside. Fortunately, no obstacles whatsoever to uh, try and get some of these consumables, so that's working out wonderfully as well. It's all just very nice. I think I'm swinging a little bit quicker for sure, though. I think uh, this is a lot more manageable. I don't think I'm so slow anymore that it's likely that I'm not going to swing if I throw the bones again, so all in all, I'm going to call that a victory. And uh, I'll just have to do. I also kind of hoped I could do, like, get a charge before doing that big room, but not to be, unfortunately. Uh, I can't really go in there yet unless we accidentally teleport in there or something. Pheromones. Blackheart. Infested. Not a terrible pill pool yet. There is still plenty of pills to go, of course. Soul of Magdalene. Range down, not necessarily terrible at times, but not quite what I had hoped. And we can get ourselves a thingy. What's it? A knife piece, and it's with a flying character, so you know that's always a good time. I haven't tried to throw the bones into the minecart since that one time where it all went weird. But I am kind of curious. If it still soft locks the game. Because <laughs> it has been quite a while ago and there have been several patches since then. So it wouldn't surprise me if it has been fixed. 
But similarly, I wouldn't be too surprised if it still happened, but I think I'm never going to find out because I'm just kind of too scared to even bother to try. <laughs> I was kind of hoping I could do this throughout my life there to instantly get him in the right place, but oh well. God, doing this with a flying character is so nice. It's just so quick. You're, it's over before you know it, especially if you can throw half of your body just to the other side of the room. It really oversimplifies the whole experience and I quite enjoy it. Unfortunately, yet another big room that I'm gonna have to somewhat waste one of my charges when it comes to charging up this item, but fair enough. I'll buy that, actually. I think this might be the first Keeper's Box run I've done as well, I suppose, so that's, that's gotta count for something. It's at least something new. <laughs> and we're actually trying to hopefully get something out of this. Went down to one red heart or less to serve. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The whole no effect thing made me stop reading after a while, but... We have a lot of range suddenly and that concerns me a little. Hopefully it's fine, but it does not have to be. Another... Fairly terrible shop. These are all just not great. I'm drowsy though, which is not a terrible pill. Maybe some money, decent amount of bombs. If we were actively trying to complete this run, it would be a like pretty decent all the things we've seen so far. Uh, oh, this is the turn into a Zazel thing, and it really hasn't activated at all with this character, so I'm guessing it just doesn't work. But I can go with this. Get some extra bonus. I think that's what this trinket does. I definitely did not bother to read it. The shell. Can I just... Yes. I can just. Oh. And then we throw some bones somewhere in that rough direction. Before you know it, the boss is dead. Everyone cheers. The whole train filled with joy and it's, it's amazing. Come on, there you go. We did it, everyone. We got range. We got a sword. We got a red heart. We got a cool new sword that stuck to our little skeleton friend. But still, it did do some decent damage there, I think, so it's not too bad. Somehow we're able to put hearts into this, even though our health situation is dire, but it's so good. I got a good feeling about the next two floors, personally. Although, we haven't seen Greed yet, we haven't gotten Cursed yet. Not in any meaningful way, at least, so... That's at least kinda good, but I'm wondering when the Curses start popping in, and that is a bit of a concern for me right now. But so far it's working out. Where... oh my goodness, what a big room. This room feels a lot bigger than all the other big rooms, just because there's so many segments to it. Is, I think, my reasoning for it. Was the spear part of Seraphim? I actually don't know. That would have been a good thing to... ...read. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, Bob's curse isn't too bad. I need to not do that, though. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I'd placed a bomb, so I ran towards it. Uh, that is not how you handle fireworks in any situation in life. It's not how you do it in real life. It's not how you do it in Isaac. And, and this is all just a learning experience, but it does not work the way that you would hope. Which is painless. And, uh, yeah, it was just hurtful. And very predictable and very much something that didn't need to happen. <laughs> ah, but what can you do? This is how you learn. It's the only way I'll learn, that's for sure. Now this is a card. I'm starting to think that either the chance of getting an item to be buyable with this is either low or zero. <laughs> I can honestly see both of them being true. This is a worrying room. Don't like this at all. Don't like that enemy type at all. It shoots a lot of brimstone for my liking, but then also like five other attacks. It's a lot. Bomb! We did it. We bought a bomb. I hope everyone's proud of me for that specific achievement. Red heart? Yeah, I don't know. 
I'm not seeing it happen at this rate. Cracked key could be kind of fun. Can I use it here? Yeah, that's nice. Blank, black rune, hagalaz, sure. Strix. I did still want to go to this curse room after all, and this kind of works out for this. Ah. Nice. My health situation is suddenly good thanks to one pill. You just gotta be lucky, that's all. But if you do get lucky, it works out. And that is my suggestion for every Isaac run in the game. Honestly, it does work very well if you are lucky. I, I can very much speak from experience that being lucky is a lot better than getting a handle on this game's mechanics. And that's why I've decided to just always be lucky, because it's a lot better. It's genuinely a lot better most days. Oh, you can get items. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Can't complain anymore. Cricket's body. Does that even work on this guy? I mean, it's an extra range down and tears up, so it's not too bad. But yeah, cool. That just means we have to find a way to charge this item forever, and we have learned about ways to do that in the previous run. Just don't know how reproducible they are. And we are shooting tears now, so that's cool. Uh, I mean, that is technically a way to do it. Gahana 1, hmm. What happened there? <laughs> There's a lot going on there. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe we can make it work, but it's gonna be tricky for sure, especially since we're a character that doesn't have red hearts, and that definitely does make it more difficult. I just placed that right in front of the door, didn't I? Because if I had red hearts, I could just use the temperance machines a whole bunch, create a bunch of money, keep charging the item that way, and, uh... You know, get, get, just get a lot of charges out of it, probably. Would've been pretty great. So, apparently, with these enemies, you just gotta calm down a bit, and then they also calm down, and I'm always too terrified to really play around with that too much. <laughs> When you do hit an attack with this build, though, it does deal some decent damage. Careful, man. Just a little bit more. There you go. No devil deal. Or angel room. I should have blown up the guy. Since I wasn't using him anyway. Yeah, I mean, you know, mistakes were made. Could have used the black rune as well. I've, I've made my choices. I stand behind all of them. I can use the black rune on the next floor. And, uh... Just make it work. I can use it in the angel room of this one. Like, we'll, we'll figure something out. We'll figure it all out. It's gonna be okay. Everyone, please calm down. Please. That's all I ask. It just... Yeah. It's a shame that the restock machine was in the first... room. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. I might want that. Because it worked out pretty well the first time, but I might save it for now. Uh, we are 20 minutes in. If we beat this floor in four minutes, we get a boss rush. I wouldn't mind using the full card to get out of it afterwards. Yeah, this is very much getting in the territory of I should probably buy that balls of steel built, but we'll get there in a second. Yeah, yep. Now we're definitely there. Because we lost enough health for it to not be a waste. Didn't do it. I don't get I don't get the announcer. I gave him very strict instructions to always be yelling and what is he not be doing? It be yelling. And quite frankly, I'm appalled. If this was a drag race, this would be appalled drag race. That's a solid joke. All right, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. Let's uh, let's get some place to use this black rune. Let's get these shield bastards destroyed. Apparently, we got one of them uh, with the rock. Yeah, I guess we did. Cool. Because we actually destroyed the just made the rock fly into him. That's nice. It's nice when things work out, you know. I haven't seen the like the full card. Does the full card show up in this? world. <laughs> I know it shows up in depths, but I actually don't know if it shows up in uh, Gahana at all. I'll buy that. Seems almost a waste to buy a battery just to get a new item to buy, but here we are. 
Also a little bit unfortunate that the rock that I praised so much then immediately just crashed into me, so it's a little bit of a downer. Curious how that is going to affect my build, but we're about to find out, I'd say. It definitely works with the uh, cricket spotty stuff, so that's nice. This might be usable if we need some extra money along the line. Uh, there we go. Meant to do it that way. <laughs> yeah, look at this. It's a good build. It's a fun build for sure. It's getting the job done very well. There's a lot of zapping. A lot of destruction and things. Eh, let's just do a boss rush. Why not? I've been on a boss rush in so long. What could possibly go wrong? Uh huh. What are we doing? Damage? Defense? Probably damage, right? What is defense even? Alright. Um. Uh, I mean, Larynx is interesting for sure. Um, just because we didn't really get to use it that much. But also, I kind of want to get charges for. Uh, the shop thing. And this is a pretty good way to get charges for the shop thing. So I would like to get some charges for the shop thing in the hope that we can get one birthright, please. That would be ideal. Um, it's a card. I mean, it's almost birthright. It's a piece of paper. And it's kind of birthright adjacent in that regard. Can't really complain. But let's see what the next item is. If I take enough damage, then there will be enough coins on the- Oh god, uh, don't be there. There is some spiky rocks in these lands, and I think I'm just going to destroy them all right now, because they very much got in the way for me to uh, actually be able to do anything there. Oops. Ooh, this is going to get nasty. I mean, it doesn't matter too much, admittedly, because I do have nine lives, so if I die, then I'll just leave, really. <laughs> I'll just leave, so it's not too bad. But it certainly could perhaps be a little bit better done. <laughs> I haven't done a boss rush in so long, you know? I'm not used to it anymore. Happy that the animation of holding the bomb was long enough for me to not actually do an attack when I threw my bones. That's okay. I got good ways to attack people. This is fine. Oh, we got the tarot cloth as well. Oh, we might definitely be dead at the end of this. Even just by leaving the room with the strength card dropping two hearts away from us. We'll see. We'll see. I'm taking so much damage. <laughs> uh, all I want is just a little birthright, you know? I was promised this when I was born, I guess. Where is... I'm also now in a situation where I'm worried I'm just going to accidentally buy stuff when I'm throwing the bones around. Which is a little bit of a problem, because I don't really have the money to spend right now, unless I take more damage. So it's a bit of a concern. There's a lot of little... Little problems happening here. I don't like any of it. We're to, down to nine coins, though. So even if Birthright was here, we'd be in a bit of a predicament. A key... And I think this will give us, like, one more charge at the end. Who's the other boss? Oh, you. That's okay. Angry fly. Whoop. More tier 8, not bad. Yeah, there went most of my health. That's a bit of an issue, but fair enough. Uh, if you could just... There we go. I kind of forgot that I was doing mother. I kind of... The moment the boss rush came into play, it very much made me sort of lost where I was. But that's okay. Because I, I remember it again. <laughs> the downside of a run like the one I had with Eden, which was yesterday's run, is that it, it frazzles. It frazzles everything. It, it very much... It destroys the brain in a way that is not really reparable in the span of time that is less than a day. <laughs> so this is very much just a silly feeling run, but it's okay. It's getting... it's it's a run, you know? It, it, it was yet another attempt at birthright, and whether we get it or not, it's okay either way. We got to use um, the uh, thing. The what's it? 
the one you know, the uh, Eden's Blessings that we had for at least a little bit of potential. Uh, due to an interesting start, having Dad's key and stuff, made sure we didn't need any bombs, which ended up being kind of good. Also that the blue map as well, because we really didn't have that many bombs for a while. We still, I honestly, don't have that many bombs, even though I'm not using that many bombs, am I? We'll be doing every single room in the game, including challenge rooms that I can do. Whoops. Uh, just for the sake of getting more charges for this item. I guess I might as well buy this. I don't see how that could possibly be a bad idea. Oop. Another item, huh? I mean, we're getting a decent amount of shop items through this, at least, but... The only downside is, is I only need one. <laughs> And we're not going to see any more shops, unfortunately, unless we get a trinket that drops shops in these floors. Which I'm not sure if it exists. It probably does. I'd be surprised if it doesn't, given all the other trinkets that open up shops and item rooms everywhere. But at the same time, who knows? I think there's a couple trinkets that work specifically for womb and corpse. But there's probably one of those for that as well. Luck down. Down. That's not good. This is okay, though. Not in terms of getting items, but it is in terms of having some money left for the remaining things that I would like to purchase. So, good enough. My bones got nommed. Terrible. Soul heart, not bad. I might leave that there for now and just uh, make sure that we actually leave the floor with more than one heart at the end. Because I've been getting hit a bit. I've been getting hit a, a bit. What is that? Hierophant Shore? Alright, now I'm a little bit more tempted to just take it, because now that is actually a pretty large amount of bone hearts that we can use as a defense. Uh, let me just check out a little bit more. Uh, that's nasty. Why would you put that there? That's very scary. Arguably, I could use the money from using the machine, but, eh, don't need it. Running out of rooms, though. <laughs> it's a nice and quick run for once, which is, uh, you know, a little bit of a difference, at least. Given the last couple of runs that we had, but... Eh, I don't know. Just a little bit odd. Haven't gone to Mother in a while. Still technically some hope left, which is uh, always good. But overall, just on. It's a pretty strong build as well, especially with this raid of death falling down with uh, Cricket's head because the tears are going through the walls. And that just makes a very interesting looking effect ultimately. So it, it does look cool in very specific occasions. We get angel rooms as well, which we haven't had in a while either. We get a full key. Really just for novelty's sake at this point, but still, I'm gonna get a full key, like, it's just, wow. Incredible. We're a character that only has soul hearts, and yet we have more bone hearts than any other type. <laughs> also, not very common, but yeah, just, just odd. One more secret room remains with the potential of that epic fetus. <laughs> Golden pill, always a good time. This is not a bad idea at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that, right. Yeah, the whole are you a wizard thing. That is a bit of an issue. I genuinely press the button to throw it up. And that is currently doing this kind of nonsense. So it's it's a little bit unusable, not gonna lie, but... Uh, if I do that... What? Why did... Okay, right, there we go. We got it. We got it in the bag. Next one's gonna be bottom right. There we go. <laughs> we know how to play video game. Paralysis. I can still move, but that's Feels fine. Like Oof. I trip. That's a bit unfortunate. Friends till the end. I don't see what could possibly go wrong here. Telepills again. A secret room. Very nice. 48 hour energy a whole bunch of times. Very cool. See if we can get some cool stuff in this shop right here. There is a soul heart. There's just really bad stuff in here. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah, this is how you use pills. The bad trip being in there is a bit of an issue. I'm not gonna lie. I'm excited. Nice. There is something. I think there's a health up in the golden pill pool. I'm just going in circles right now. I'm just making a big mess of things. Um, it. One of the things that's in there is one makes you large. I'm kind of just hoping to make a big mess using that. <laughs> Fortunately. Uh, there is also... Nice. There is uh, yet another golden pill because we got verp while I was using that. Uh, in there. And that's, uh, that's just great, isn't it? That's just good. It means we get to have a little bit more fun with our shenanigans. And that is nice. I, for one, am looking forward to getting... Good. Did we get ver did we get another golden pill? I thought we did, but maybe did I run past it? It's very possible. I I've stopped paying attention somewhere along this run. Oh, was it just the regular? Maybe it just looked gold to me, but it actually wasn't. That is actually very possible. Uh, thinking about it, that does sound more like what happened. <laughs> we still got the Are You a Wizard effect, which might just last for the remainder of this run. I don't know if it stacks if you use it more often, but I have used it frequently uh, in the previous moments. So, yeah, that might stay along there for a while. That creates bridges. But that's okay. The world, nice. Crawl space. Might have been a black market in there. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna put this in the list of things that I didn't quite expect to happen when I threw those bones in that corner. <laughs> uh, and it, there's a crawl space there again, which I'm curious what's what that's gonna do. Does that just put me back at the start of the... Can I leave? I can. And the crawl space disappeared. Well, and it put me back at the start of the floor, so I think the crawl space is like here. Hang on. Because I, I just wanted to throw my bones at the enemies, and somehow I went through the wall. Which I'm not sure how that occurred. But I'm curious if I can reproduce it somewhat easily. Let me just uh, do that. Quickly re-enter it. Because that seems pretty useful. <laughs> if we can just go through it. I don't know where I was even. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do that again probably, but still, interesting. I don't know, I genuinely don't know what I did, but at least it's recorded so I can maybe reproduce it with some with some effort. Ah, how strange. Cause I wasn't in like a weird, well I must have been in like a, like the perfect weird spot or something like that, but. Yeah, really, really bizarre. I want to play around with this a little bit more, but I don't think there's much more I can do, yeah. Yeah, alright, cool. <laughs> it's a new one. It's one I wasn't aware of, at least, and that's good enough for me, for to calling it a new one. But also, I'm a little surprised that that puts you there, of all places. Like, I kind of thought it would, um... That an I Am Error Room would lead to Delirium, because I do vaguely recall reading about that, that... An iron arrow room on this floor would just take you to delirium, but instead it just takes you to a crawl space. Or just puts you back at the start of the floor, which I guess is cool. Um, arguably makes a little bit more sense ultimately, which is kind of nice. Uh, don't need that. But yeah, just, just unusual. <laughs> just a little surprise. I appreciate it. Uh, unidentified pill, I'm excited. Puberty. Fair enough. Time for a big room. I think with the rooms that there are, we can at least use the box one more time. Ultimately, if we do get birthright at this point, it's a bit of a shame because you really don't get to experience the item at all, but you get to see what it does, ultimately. And that's got to count for something, I suppose. <laughs> I guess we're in a challenge room now, sure. Why not? Sun card. Again, why not? Maybe if we do these rooms we can get just a little bit more. We get to fight this boss, which rarely ever do. His arm just got completely destroyed and died horribly. Yeah, that was uh, fairly horrendous. 
It was an efficient way to get through that, but just surprisingly mean of all things. Hermit? Uh, yeah, why not? You never know when I need a bunch of money in that room specifically. Yeah, I think we're gonna get exactly one more... One more thing. One more uh, use of the Keeper's box at the end of this, and that's after fighting the boss and finishing the run. So I'm excited to see what uh, what's gonna happen here. Where's that card gone? I had a strength card at some point. Did I use it? I genuinely do not recall using it. Oh no, wait, I just sold it. Right, that did happen. That was a thing. I uh, was not looking at the card or pill I was holding at the time. That one's on me, I suppose. Let's go fight mother. This shouldn't take too long, I assume. <laughs> Given the amount of damage that we're dealing with, with like, triple shot and... The Zappy's Cricket's Head. A uh, very brief moment of Hallowed Ground. There we go, that's part one done. Just gonna keep swinging. Assume that puts you in a pretty decent spot. Uh huh. This is a little awkward, but not. Oh, this is nice. This is a nice attack to be, have this boss be doing, I suppose. That means they don't move so much. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I wonder if you actually have more or less room at this side of the room or the other one. Oh god. Uh, this is getting a little bit worrying. Okay. It's working out. Don't worry. Why? Alright, well, that was odd, but it worked out. It was a little scary. I was about to die, and then I don't think we would have won. But it worked out, and we got a bomb to celebrate everything. What a weird run that was. <laughs> a great dad's key slash keeper's box run. And a run that actually went to mother for the first time in a long period of time. So there you go. It was a thing. It was a thing. Is what it was. We got nothing. But an extra mom kill, so that's got to count for something. And, uh, nothing else to say about that one. <laughs> Hope y'all enjoyed it. Next time we play, uh, we'll be doing another run with maybe Isaac or something. Just a character that might be able to get an extra item or two. And I hope to see y'all there. Bye-bye.